You Are Not Disposable by Joe Weil I am not disposable, the young girl at the slam read, and everyone snapped their fingers. They didn't snap their fingers when the 50-year-old waitress spilled a Coke all over the non-disposable hero of the hour. She said, fuck. She said, fuck, and then she told the woman to be careful and to stop being so clumsy. The woman looked frightened. The table decided not to leave her a tip. There were 15 poets, each more PC than the rest, but she was a waitress probably voted for Trump. The girl had written about being seen, but she had seen this woman only as some oaf. I wanted to strangle the darling. Instead, I left the waitress a $30 tip. I left her what I knew she needed. Not moral support or even kindness. Fuck that. But money. A waitress after 40 no longer gets to the better tables. She needs her regulars. She needs a fin. A sawbuck. A dub. She needs a foot rub. A back rub. A get-out-of-jail-free card. The girl is now on tour. She's a revolutionary from Scarsdale. The waitress broke down in Scarsdale once. She had a boyfriend then. He didn't have the money for her gas, but he had a plastic hose and knew how to siphon. Sometimes she misses him. His easy laugh. His slow hands. The way he could drive with just his knees. The sad thing was she liked the girl's poem. She listened. She always listens. She should know better than to think the realm of language and the realm of action ever have much to do with each other. She has a burn on her right arm from when she was little and her dad was drunk and wanted to make breakfast. A great big grease burn. The pan slipped from his hand. He didn't mean it. The girl was lucky it wasn't hot grease. I find this all when I come in during the week, when there's no artistic vibe, when the regulars kid her, when the food is better. I say, not all poets are like that. She laughs and says, Not all men are assholes either, right? Give peace a chance. You want another refill? She's already forgotten the insult. In the kingdom of insults, this wasn't even a scratch. But I can't forget. Is it me I mourn for? Who do I belong to? When the song from Harlan Country asks... Which side are you on, boys? I don't know. Her story is not mine to tell, except it's my story, too. And if not, who have I become? It's been 30 years since I took a tube to a gas tank and sucked the gas up, spit it out, used it to get me home. I could never drive with my knees. I hid in books. So many revolutionaries out there. She's just trying to live. I pay good rent on the coffee. You are not disposable, I say. And she laughs. Come on, hun, she says. I thought you were smarter than that.